Welcome to Teacher Reads. I'm Miss S. Today, we are going to read Frida, written by Jonah Winter and illustrated by Anna Juan. Frida Enters the World For little Frida, the world is Mexico. Her house is a blue house. It is in the town of Coyoacan. Frida's father is an artist and a photographer. He teaches her how to use a paintbrush. Frida's mother takes care of six daughters. Often she is tired. Often Frida is lonely, even though she has sisters. Enter stage left, Frida's imaginary friend. Her name is also Frida. They play games. All of a sudden, Frida falls very ill. She is in bed for months. There's something wrong with one of her legs. Even her imaginary friends can't cheer her. That's when Frida teaches herself how to draw. Drawing saves her from being sad. After Frida gets well, she still wants to make art. So she paints little paintings. They are copies of other paintings. Painting onto photographs is what Frida's father does for a living. He teaches her how to do this too. Frida also paints things she sees through a microscope. She loves looking at things very closely. At school, Frida studies science. She is bored. School is too easy. One day, Frida is riding the bus home from school. A horrible accident happens. A trolley runs into the bus. Frida almost dies. In the hospital, it is painting that saves her once again. Painting is like her imaginary friend. It is there whenever she wants it. It keeps her company. It keeps her from giving up hope. After the accident, life will never be the same for Frida. She will walk with a cane when she is able to walk. Her body will hurt always. But Frida doesn't cry or complain. Instead of crying, she paints pictures of herself crying. When she can't leave her bed, she paints in bed. When her whole torso is put in a cast, she paints on the cast. Nothing can stop Frida from painting because she's so often alone, unable to leave her house, she has to use her imagination. She paints what she sees in her heart on top of what she sees with her eyes. It's almost like painting on photographs. She paints little magical scenes with words at the bottom. All over Mexico, people paint these kinds of scenes. Sometimes they are scenes of accidents with angels coming to the rescue. They are like prayers for people who are sick. They are called esfotos. Frida paints as photos of herself when she is sick or in pain. Frida imitates no one in her style. Her paintings are like nothing else. In museums, people still look at them and weep and sigh and smile. She turns her pain into something beautiful. It is like a miracle. Viva Frida. Long live Frida. The end. I hope you enjoyed reading Frida with me today. With an adult, please subscribe to the channel. And if you are a teacher, please suggest a book in the comment section. Thank you for listening.